What's up, everybody? It's your boy Riggs Reacts. And we back with another reaction. You already know the vibes. Today we're reacting to a skit. What if David Goggins was evil? Yeah. That's a scary thought. It's almost like what if Batman was evil? Speak of the devil. Because we just had that new trash ass Suicide Squad game that came out. Where you have to kill Batman. Because he turned evil. So what if David Goggins turned evil? And instead of inspiring the youth. And inspiring people to be their best selves. He inspired you. To jump out of a window. <laughs> what if. David Goggins was evil. That's what we're about to find out today. And what if David Goggins was evil? <laughs> yes, that's what the video is titled. So we're not going to make this intro too long. We're going to hop straight into this. And there's two parts. And I'm going to watch both. <laughs> yeah, dig. And I'm going to give you my reaction. Let's go. <laughs> so the other day somebody asked me. Somebody asked me, hey man, would you ever start a family? Settle down, have kids, all that bullshit. I said, motherfucker, I already have kids. But guess what? They don't know me, son. They're still waiting for the fucking groceries. 26 years ago. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Stay hard. <laughs> so last I'm week, your family. this motherfucker in a wheelchair came up to me while I was running. Apparently was a veteran or some shit. Fucked up my whole face because I had to stop. But anyways, he was talking about me being his biggest inspiration and all this. I looked at him down there and I told him, hey, man, if I was your biggest inspiration, you'd stop being a bitch. Stop being a lazy cripple. You'd lose the fucking wheelchair and start running with me right now. <laughs> but of course he wouldn't do it. I said, man, how are you going to carry the boats? With your own fucking legs, can't even carry your crippled ass. Yo. Maybe you should have thought twice before skipping leg day constantly for the last 20 years, motherfucker. So anyways, <laughs> I took his motherfucking wheelchair and I left his ass crawling back home like the bitch that he is. Don't let weak-minded motherfuckers like this bring you down to their level. Stay hard! Oh my god. So I was in somebody's funeral the other day, a family member of mine. <laughs> So you know the whole thing, everybody crying and shit, telling me to stop doing push-ups during the burial because it's disrespectful. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not with that soft shit. I did 200 squats on top of that motherfucker's grave while <laughs> everybody was looking. Should have seen their faces. I had never taken so many fucking souls at once. And while they were bitching about this motherfucker's corpse, I was getting better and stronger. Stay hard. Yo, this is insane. So the other day I got a phone call. This guy says he killed his family in a car crash about a year ago. Says he can't sleep all this weak shit. I didn't know what to say to this motherfucker, so I told him. Hey, man. Two years ago, if you had quit drinking and learned how to fucking drive properly, maybe your family would still be alive today. But guess what? You can still do those things today. So your next fucking family doesn't have to suffer the same consequences. And before I get to finish my sins, his inner bitch took over and he shot himself dead. Anyways, what of the story is, some motherfuckers you just can't help. Stay home. Shame the hopeless. <laughs> Yo. I need to see David Goggins' reaction to this. <laughs> That was actually hilarious and diabolical, bro. That man said his inner bitch took over. <laughs> he shot himself. <laughs> what the frick, bro? All right. Part two. <laughs> I get asked this all the time. How do you not pass out after running for days? How do you keep your fucking brain from shutting down? I always say I don't. It's the fucking cocaine that does. If you're a Colombian motherfucker, <laughs> 10 to 15 lines a day, and motherfucker, I'm awake for weeks. I'm getting the work in while your ass is in bed. 
Sweetheart, this fat ass comes up to me the other day. Says he's tired of being overweight. Tired of feeling sorry for himself. Tired of eating cookies and fucking milkshakes every day. So I said, let me ask you this, man. How long you been a fat, lazy, good for nothing piece of shit motherfucker? Tells me since he got paralyzed when he was nine. Now here's the thing, I wasn't paying attention. I thought this motherfucker was really short. Turns out, his ass was in a wheelchair. I gotta be honest with you, I didn't know what to say at that point. So I just beat his ass and walked away. <laughs> Went from being paralyzed from the waist down to the neck down, motherfucker. Don't be bringing none of that negative shit around me next time. Stay hard. So I get an email the other day. This guy asking me some questions. How are you always so tough, man? Why do you stay so hard all the damn time? I say, motherfucker, there's two words in the English dictionary you gotta start living by. Viagra, motherfucker. Sometimes your bitch ain't looking as good as she used to be. Stay hard. And if you need some help, get some motherfucking help. So he says, hey, Gargas. That's not what I was talking about, man. I say, well, whatever. Anyway, check out the link in the description for the best bag around the market. 20% off for the first 50 motherfuckers that sign up. Say hard. We all have that one fucking thing in life that we hate the most. That thing for me, besides women's rights and toddlers on the bus, is the fucking water. And that's why I'm here today. And my legs and hands tied behind my back so I can face the one thing that I never want to be around. Say hard. Yo, that was a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Those were amazing, bro. He really sounded kind of like David Goggins. It definitely seemed like one of those inspirational Goggins videos. I know y'all have seen those videos where he's like running and he's like, someone emailed me the other day. He told me he was lazy. He told me he was tired of being a bitch. You know what I told him? Get your lazy ass up <laughs> and start running and make your dreams come true. Get up. Your story ain't over yet. Stay hard. <laughs> I know you've seen some of those Goggin, those uh, David Goggin inspirational videos when he's running. <laughs> those have basically become legendary at this point. They're, now they've basically reached meme status. Like, meme status is past legendary. Like, <laughs> memes will be like, they'll be, memes will be talked about probably like in the 3000s, in the year 3000 <laughs> plus. They'll still be talking about memes from our era. You know what I'm saying? But you know what, bro? Well, let me keep it 100 real fast. I feel inspired. And I think I'm going to go for a run. Stay tuned. You know, people always ask me, Gawkins, how do you do it? How do you run for days without getting tired? They think it's my drive. My will, my dedication. But I have a secret. The proper supplementation of erectile enhancers. I can run way farther. I can run way faster. And I can run way harder on three legs. Stay hard. Sponsored by Goggins Erectile Enhancement Pills. Stay hard.